If you love 90s cars, then this is the BeamNG mod for you. It's the Bruckel M-Body Vehicle Package, which brings two new 90s vehicles into BeamNG. We've got the Bruckel Legrand VRV, a minivan that's based on GM's minivans of the late 80s and early 90s. And then an updated Bruckel Legrand, a curvaceous sedan that's totally been updated from the original 80s Legrand. So, which one do we start with? Well, it's got to be the minivan. I can't wait to get this thing on the road. So here is this minivan, this 90s beast. A very curvy design compared to the boxy designs of the 1980s. We've got sliding doors. You can open the tailgate and you can see the two rear-facing seats, which look great. We don't see that kind of thing anymore in terms of car design close up the doors and on the interior it's quite a spacious cabin we've got leather seats looks all quite nice i think that's a middle seat in there next to the driver and yeah let's get this thing on the road so oh that's reverse this has bruckel legrand engines as well as a bruckel legrand chassis to drive well it's quite top heavy you'd expect that from a minivan it's a bit bouncy as well oh and we're off custom horn as well which is pretty cool let's have a look at those lights yeah um oh i like the dashboard it's very it's laid out very cleanly okay let's take this thing for a crash test because you know minivan should be safe you're taking all your family around let's crash into this tree here here we go i think we're gonna have quite a bad crap bad oh dear that's worse than i thought it was gonna be the whole front of the car has been crushed not good, not good. But luckily, there are so many different variants, we can just move straight on from that wreck. Okay, let's go for the 3200 base, which has a, ooh, it's a high performance version. Okay, here we go. Wheel spin on, look at the lights. Nice. Interior is the same, but the lights were like slightly different there. That's pretty cool. Listen to that horn. Dinky little horn. How's it handle? It's not too bad. It's very floaty though. Oh dear. It likes to wobble and shake. We have a special crash test version, which I think is pretty cool. Um, an advanced air conditioning uh, system in that one. Let's go for the gendarmerie support vehicle. This is pretty cool. It's a French police car. Okay, so it should be pretty fast. We've got reverting beepers and a massive sunroof. Is that sensible for a police car? I don't know. Siren on. Yes digital dashboard that is awesome so this vehicle pack is actually part of something called the urban law project and they're going to be bringing lots of different vehicles to the game in the future as well as more vehicles coming to this very pack so stay tuned for that on the mod page i've left the link to the mod in the description whoa we are getting wheel spin like crazy let's hit one of these pillars here we go bang yeah not the safest vehicle in the world. Well, we've got some more to check out. The SE 3200 all-wheel drive. Yeah, so this is one of the highest spec ones you could get. Let's try it. Oh, just turn the lights on. There you go. Don't hit that. Oh, well, no, the door and the... Uh-oh, one of the sliding doors being ripped off. What are my family going to say? Oh, my God. Ah, no. Oh, ooh, dear. Wow. Why does it have a reversing beeper? I didn't know that normal cars ever had reversing beepers. The stalks move in the interior. We've got this nice looking dashboard thing. There's actually a, um, a normal handbrake in this one, but some of them have like a handbrake on the floor, a parking brake on the floor, which is pretty cool. And this thing does shift, but it's not even the most powerful. Let's check out the turbo models. So we've got the 2800 turbo. Um, it was added by Brickle Technology Lab to test the turbo turbocharger system in a passenger car. So this is not a production variant, but let's try it. It's not much different, is it? I mean, it's not slow, but... Look at those mud flaps, they're cool. I love the tan interior as well. Whoa, we're drifting. You can actually get this thing to drift quite well. Whoa, the, the, the suspension's really weird. I don't know, sometimes it's like pretty soft and then other times it's really wobbly. I think they did say that it's a known issue that the suspension is not quite perfect yet. Oh dear. Oh dear. And we burst the tyre. And the drive shaft's broken. Wow. Yeah, 3.5 litre V6. What's FL? Uh, ah, facelift, of course. Yeah, let's go for the facelift one. Oh yes. That feels like some more, more power there. 
love the look of his face lifted one. Oh, we could even use the tailgate as like a rear wing. Yeah, awesome. Huge tailgate. Oh no, watch out. Oh dear. And all the doors rip off. That's really cool. Okay, facelifted double wing. So this is a customized turbocharged V6 variant with a roof box. Again, the turbocharger doesn't seem to do much. It's not meant to be a sporty vehicle. But let's take it up this mountain path. Whoa, I love the two-tone paint job. Um, or like these two-tone stripes or whatever they're called. Very retro. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh dear, all the wheels are like out of whack now. Oh no. But yeah, I love the look of this livery. Okay, it's time to go and check out the updated, oh dear, Brockle Le Grand. So I'm in two minds about this thing. In one way, it does look bigger than the other one, like in terms of length, but then it's much shorter, which is quite strange. That's like, I don't know, the front of it is like much shorter, much more streamlined. 90s car, we've got a very similar interior to the VRV. They are very closely related. Looks very nice. Let's take this thing for a spin. Let's drive around the city. It does look like a sleeker car on the move. Do like the look of it. Quite soft suspension. There should be no surprises in terms of driving this because it's very similar to the Legrand. Just slightly different body proportions of its streamlined shape. Oh, not quite enough power to get up that hill and continue accelerating, but there you go. Stop. There we go. Let's check out the other variants. So what have we got? We've got the base wagon. Um, let's go for something a bit more exciting than that. Maybe the sedan Neo. Oh, it must be. That must be the facelift. Okay, let's try it. The coupe Neo first. Okay, so this is the coupe Neo. I've got to say it does look pretty good. Let's put those lights on. Yeah, nice. Very smooth looking shape. And the rear, well, it seems like it's got quite a big boot as well. Though we can't open it, which is unfortunate. Oh, different dash design. That's kind of weird. We've got a clock and rev counter. Hmm, not sure it's a very visible um, dash design. They're very small dials, but that's fine. I want to go straight to the um, more powerful ones, like the wagon, the SE 3500 Wagon Neo. Wow, it's a bit of a mouthful. In a nice red though. Oh, look at that thing. The tailgate looks great. Can we open the boot? Oh. Please let me open the boot. That'd be cool. Indicators. We haven't really looked at the indicators yet. Oh, look at those. They're very bright. That's cool. Look at that thing. Very soft ride. And the rear really does rise up when you brake. Automatic gearbox in the 90s. Useless automatic gearbox. It just doesn't change down. But there we go. Let's go for a crash test. So the Legrand is not the safest car in the world. And neither is this. The updated Legrand is still a little bit... Hmm... It is 90s, you know. Safety in cars has only really been a thing in terms of crumple zones and, you know, five-star safety ratings in the last 20 years. So, yeah. We're going to go for the police cruiser or the police interceptor. Police interceptor. Yeah, let's do it. And what do we want to chase? Do we want to chase the minivan? So, AI flee. <laughs> the reversing siren. That's so funny. Oh, watch out. There we go. We're on the road. Oh, we've got a radar and we've got a tan interior again. Looks good. That thing's pretty fast, but it's very shiny. Shining in my face. Whack him. Sliding door came off again. The sliding doors do seem to come off very easily. Stop. In the name of the law. Yes. Oh, no. Oh, minivan power. Just got through us completely. Ram him off the road. There you go. Whack him into a tree. Come on. Like that. Oh no! That damage does more than it damaged him. There you go, come on. That's you well and truly got, surely. No! He's just gonna keep going. Oh dear. Well, there you go. As he drives off into the sunset, we will look at some of the final variants of the Brookle Le Grand facelifted 90s versions. Oh, the Golden Goose Wagon, that's strange. Uh, let's try it. The Golden Goose Wagon. I do quite like the gold, weirdly. Strange steering wheel. Not that slow. It's pretty fast, actually. Whoa. Awesome. Yeah, gold wheels, I'm not sure, but I do like actually the gold wrap on the car. It's pretty cool. And I love wagons, so I don't think there's a bad looking wagon in the world, to be honest. Maybe there is. There probably is. Very soft suspension. Oh, no. Oh, we wrapped around a tree. Quite literally wrapped around a tree. That's not good. So we've got the NASCAR wannabe. We've got to try that last, I think. This is the most powerful version. Let's go for the all-wheel drive coupe. Yeah, nice. 
very smooth experience all of these cars today. I prefer the dash design of this one as well, much clearer to you know, be able to read. Although, hang on a minute, which one's the rev counter? Is, is there even a rev counter? Yes, that is the rev counter there. That's so weird. I've never seen a rev counter that goes upwards like that. But anyway, really cool, really nice looking vehicle. Let's go for the really sporty ones to finish off. What have we got? Uncaged, this, ooh, this reminds me of a lot of different vehicles. We've got a manual gearbox. Whoa! Nice red interior. So this feels like a special limited edition sporty version. Handling isn't so bad. There we go, into fourth gear, we've got a turbocharger. Yeah, yeah, not bad. So we've got to go to the track to, to test out the last two variants. So let's head over there right now. Whoa! Oh dear. Okay, so this is just simply called the custom. And look at this paint job. It goes from like beige to silver to green. That is a really cool paint job. Let's go. So we've got a sat nav, a digital display in the middle to show us everything. Is that a nitrous bottle? Oh, I don't know. But we can't turn on the nitrous. Oh, no, it's a fire extinguisher. Of course it is. Whoa. So this is actually designed for like street racing. But that understeer is craziness. Wow, isn't it a wastegate? That's awesome. Yes, this is some good performance now. Nice. Revs up to six and a half thousand RPM. Awesome. Whoa, look at that thing go. Whoa. That's awesome. And see how it handles this corner. Braking, good. Brakes are fading a bit, but here we go. Wow. Yeah. Solid like a rock. Really grippy. Just see, with a bit of tweaking, these kind of floaty 90s cars could be amazing but here we go the nascar wannabe no v8 it just has a turbocharged v6 off we go so this is going to be even grippier but nascar is you know like oval racing so it's not overly designed to go around corners properly whoa very powerful though this is a bad corner for this car but there we go nice into third we're off the track oh dear and off we go performance wise Oh dear, I'm all over the place. We're going to skip this corner, or try to. Oh dear, we've got a roll cage, have we? Yeah, we've got a roll cage, that'll help us. Okay, come on. Really powerful car, and a brilliant 90s vehicle pack. You've got to go and check out. I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. If you want to see another awesome, high-quality vehicle mod, the Beam NG, why not click the video on screen right now? I really enjoyed this. Leave suggestions for me in the comments or over on my Discord suggestions channel and I'll see you soon for some more simulator adventures.